Some of Hollywood's biggest stars are in Utah tonight for the red carpet screening of what's expected to be a very controversial TV show. The series, based on a best-selling book, retells the events of a notorious murder in Utah County. Brenda Wright Lafferty and her baby daughter Erica were killed in 1984 by Brenda's brother-in-laws Ron and Dan Lafferty. The brothers claim they were commanded by God to do it. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenter spoke to the show's creator and actor Andrew Garfield about the intention behind the series. Academy Award winning directors and actors flew here to downtown Salt Lake City tonight for the premiere of the new series Under the Banner of Heaven inspired by John Krakauer's best-selling novel. The American Fork murders that shook the Utah Valley community back in 1984 are being told in a new FX series. The creators and stars behind the show visited the state where it happened ahead of the premiere this Thursday. This show is very much uh, a, a warning not to step back into fundamentalism. It is a, a cautionary tale about what happens if you follow outdated rules. It can lead to bloodshed and harm. That's Dustin Lance Black, creator of the show. He grew up in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and says this show is all to honor Brenda Wright Lafferty and her baby girl Erica. They trusted me with her letters, with her journals, and so so much of what you're going to see in this show comes right from her voice, words she wrote. Academy Award nominee Andrew Garfield plays the role of Detective Jeb Pyre who investigates the murders and questions his faith. I think it's vital and I think a life of faith is actually a life of doubt. I think a life of certainty is not a life of faith. Avatar star Sam Worthington plays the role of murderer Ron Lafferty. Our job is to portray it as truthfully as possible, allow the writing to kind of foreshadow the terrible event that happened, um, and, and hopefully, as I said, handle it with some grace. Former and active LDS members joined the crew as consultants, including local Utah Lindsay Hansen Park, who studies fundamentalist sects of the church. She said representation in the show was important to her. I really hope the show is an opportunity for Mormons to show us who they are, show the world who they are, that they can handle hard discussions, that we can handle truth and look at the shadow sides of our faith and confront them head on. The seven episode series will premiere exclusively on Hulu. You can watch the first two episodes on April 28th and the rest on a weekly basis. Now I reached out to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for a comment about this new show and have yet to hear back. Reporting in downtown Salt Lake, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah. Of course, there are still those who remember the Lafferty brothers from their years growing up in Payson. Randy Ellsworth was close friends with Dan Lafferty from the fifth grade and spent a lot of time with him until the two became missionaries together for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on the same day. When they came home, Dan went to chiropractor school and Randy went into radiology. In fact, after the murders, Dan was ordered to have an MRI as part of his evaluation, and it was Randy who performed the scan. Dan and I went into the scan room by ourselves, and we looked at each other, and I just said, Dan, I just wish that we weren't meeting again under these circumstances. And he just looked at me and goes, well, this is was my idea. You know, and then I knew that there was something, Dan, who was not in there behind those eyes. Randy says he also performed the CT scan on Ron Lafferty, who greeted Randy like an old friend and asked how his family was doing. Randy continues to wonder what went wrong.